Uh, thank you everyone for showing up. Um, we have a very important event going on tonight. We are recognizing Dan Keelan as the club's most recent inductee. <laughs> growing list of Hall of Fame inductees, including the late Earl Stroop, inducted in 2013. Sadly, Earl passed away exactly three years ago today, age of 74. To many, he was the minister of, of terror, but he was very instrumental in the early success of the Irish RFC of the Quad Cities. He was assistant to the Palmer RFC the Combined Augustana and St. Ambrose Club, the Iowa Union, and even the Midwest and USA rugby organizations. His leadership is truly missed. Rest in peace, Earl. Praise the last We'd also like to recognize two of our other Hall of Famers. Unfortunately, they were not able to make it tonight, but here are their words. This is from Tom Phillips. Thank you for the invitation and opportunity to share my congratulations to Dan today. It is the utmost joy that I, along with countless others, celebrate Dan Keelan being inducted into the Irie, I, Iowa Rugby Hall of Fame. Dan was one of my rugby originals, a teammate and a mentor who made an incredible mark on me as a young aspiring rugby player while playing football in Augustana. Dan, along with Cecil Youngblood, Youngblood, Dave Omar Bradley, Neil Early, and Ben Yuan. Early! Okay, they set the technical standards for the Quad City Irish, Iowa, and Midwest representative teams in the 1980s. Dan's athleticism was not his only gift. He was the gold standard teammate, never asking of anything, anyone that he hadn't already done. Just as his infectious smile could disarm the heart hardest of competitors after his match, his fierce determination was always at the ready and often called upon during the toughest matches we played. I did, and would still today, follow Dan to a battle with nothing more than a spoon. Oh. Congratulations, Dan. Congratulations, Dan. This induction is so well deserved. I wish I could express to both you and Kathy in person how much your friendship and support meant to my being able to establish a career in rugby. I am forever grateful to have been one of your many teammates. Enjoy the celebration. When Dan joined the Irish rugby team, as good as we were at the time, it felt like we had a final piece of the championship puzzle. Not only was he one of the fastest white boys I had ever seen, <laughs> he was smart, knew the game well, and behind that baby face was a warrior. He took no bleep from anyone. The bleep. Okay, so you said. All that said, he is still one of the nicest, most personable and caring people I've ever known. That was the spirit of the Irish. So again, in many ways, Dan was that final piece of the puzzle the Irish needed. Congratulations. We are all better for knowing and playing rugby with you. Danny, it was a privilege for me to have played rugby with you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> all right. So, I could tell stories all night, I'm, but, but, but I won't. <laughs> so I want, I want to reiterate some of the things that Tom and Cecil said. Dad's talent and drive served both Luther and the Quad City Irish very well. He was big enough that it hurt like hell to tackle him, fast enough that you couldn't catch him if he got past you, and elusive enough that he made a lot of people miss. He could also tackle and kick, so he's a five-tool player. And he became a true student and teacher of the game. At this time, you know, the moment everyone's been waiting for, if I could please ask Dan to come up. We're going to introduce you to the Hall of Fame of Iowa Rugby. Congratulations, Thank Dan. You. Thank you all for being here, and it's just great to see everyone. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just great to have a reason to get back together. And I prepared some words, but you see how eloquent 
Omar is, so I've asked him to read it. He does accents better and things like that. So. But thank you for being here. It's great to hear the club is back up and going, and I think we should be there to support and help them too. So, all right, thank thanks. You. Dan, Dan, Dan wrote some words he wanted me to say. Yep. Oh, we, 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 we get emotional. I'm not going to say I know it's a tough too. crowd, so I wanted to Omar to do it. <laughs> So thank you to the Iowa Rugby Hall of Fame Committee for this honor and to the Quetzi Irish for nominating me. A special thanks to my friends and teammates Greg Maroney, Luther College and Quetzi Irish, Paul Matson, Luther College, and John Omar Bradley, Luther and Quetzi Irish, who put together letters of endorsement and details of our rugby playing days. I started playing rugby like many of you, showed up for one practice and then played the next game. I loved it, but just couldn't figure out why all these guys were kicking me when I didn't fumble after I was tackled. <laughs> Within a couple of weeks, our Luther coach, Doc Callahan, an Iowa Hall of Fame member, and met a few words, pulled me aside and said to me in his Irish accent, Dan, rugby could be very special for you. <laughs> I didn't really understand at the time what he meant, but I think I do now. I believe amateur rugby is different than almost any sport. We trained, traveled, and played together, all while building careers, raising families, and just trying to get by. Rugby became special for me because I played, at, I played with two special clubs that did what it took to compete at the highest level and worried first about winning the match, then winning the party. <laughs> <laughs> Through that commitment, we became lifelong friends. We may not talk often or see each other that much, but just like Kevin Froelich, Neil Ely, and others did in matches, if life were to deal me a cheap shot, I knew I could count on you to have my back. Yeah. 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 Neil isn't the biggest guy, but he's like Gumpy. He can't hurt anybody. Uh, I would be remiss without also mentioning Dave Seraph and my training partner. We spent so much time together, my wife was starting to wonder. <laughs> so to all of you who I have spent time... <laughs> so to all of you who I've spent time with on the pitch, thank you for being a great teammate and friend. Aww. Cheers to all of you. Cheers.